Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try the meatloaf with mashed potatoes. It's beef meatloaf topped with ketchup. I love ketchup. Mashed potatoes and peas. This one is an Andrew Zimmern uh, meal. This is one of the chef meals from Walmart. It's a 10.5 ounce or 297 gram meal. We bought it, of course, at Walmart for $5.94. They've got like four different chefs they're doing these meals from, and this is just one of them. Uh, let's see, 500 calories for the whole bowl. And there's your other info. Let's see, I only see microwave directions. Um, it says, my grandmother's recipe, my favorite perfectly prepared for your family. It's flavorful, all beef, meatloaf, smothered, smothered, in a sweet and tangy tomato ketchup and then paired with a generous serving of creamy mashed potatoes and peas for a comforting classic. Um, so we're gonna lift the film to vent the bowl, place the bowl in the microwave and cook for four minutes and then lift the film, stir the microwave for another two and a half to three minutes. I'll probably just do the two and a half or until the center of the dish reads 165 degrees because you gotta get your thermometer out, you know. So four minutes, stir, and then two and a half. Let me turn you down a little bit. Oh, looks pretty good. The peas are everywhere, but that's okay. I like to mix my mashed potatoes and peas up anyway. So I'm going to vent this. Usually it has a little, yeah, there's a little tab over here. I'm going to pull it up right there. I'm sure that's a random place, but there you go. So I'm going to get this in the microwave way back. All right, so here it is out of the microwave. And you, this picture doesn't look anything. I mean, the peas got, I don't know, they, they really got dried up little, little pebbles almost. And the mashed potatoes really, really dried out. So we'll see. I mean, and there's no way to not stir them up together because, well, they were all dropped on top of each other. So, so the peas and the carrot, the corn, the peas and the mashed potatoes are pretty much required to be together. Um, the meatloaf looks pretty good, but those, um, I don't know about those mashed potatoes. We'll, we'll see when we get over the table. So I'm going to take it over there. I'll be right back. All right, so you saw what my meal looks like, just in case you forgot what, it was, what the box looks like. That's what the box is saying it should look like. Uh, yeah, it's not really that close to that. The, the peas are green and vibrant, and the mashed potatoes are, well, they don't have ketchup mixed all in them. So anyway, I think, I mean, the only way they could do that is to subdivide it up. I know that. I'm just, I'm really, I'm giving the company more of a hard time than anything, but no meal that you're going to microwave that's set up in this bowl is ever going to look like that picture on that from the package so i just think it's funny so i'm gonna try the mashed potatoes with the peas first yeah those peas are bad they um they've dried out so much that they've um they've got like chewy Yeah, not a good experience with the peas. Now the mashed potatoes themselves are decent. They're kind of dry and pasty kind of, um, but. I could live with the mashed potatoes if it wasn't for the peas. Um, and I did the lower end at two and a half minutes. I did that instead of uh, the higher end. Can you imagine all three minutes? They would have burned them up into a crisp. They would have been smoking in there. Um, I know it does say or until the dish reaches 165. I know, I don't have a thermometer. I'm not checking stuff um, at home or at work. So, I mean, who's doing that? I guess somebody's doing that, but I'm not doing it. Um, I think that's just to cover their butt so you're not eating raw food. That's what that is. Um, so in reality, I probably could have went for two minutes, maybe even a little bit less. And even when I started up, it was already getting pretty dried up, uh, the peas were. So, um, that extra two and a half minutes after the first four minutes was already seemed a little long, but I'm assuming the meatloaf really needs more time to cook because, or heat up because it's really thick. So, well, not blown away by the peas and stuff. I did cut the meatloaf in half um, so I can show it to you. I'll probably end up dropping it on the table. I'll pick, I'll stab it so you'll see. There's what it looks like inside. It's still steaming, so that's how hot it is. But I did cut some pieces off so I can cool off a little bit. Meatloaf's not bad. It has that that good ground beef flavor with much with um, onions in it, so you get that oniony kind of uh, meatloaf flavor. Yeah, and it's cooked onions too. They're really tender, and then you get the ground beef. But then what the star is, is truly the ketchup on top. It's got, it is a tangy ketchup flavor. 
<laughs> That's good. My mom, when she used to make me love, would put ketchup on top too. Um, she would buy really cheap ketchup to use on that. And um, it was never as good as like the name brand ketchup. So it just wasn't, didn't have the flavor that the name brands had. But okay, occasionally, especially when dad went shopping, um, dad would buy the good stuff. And he would put that on the on the meatloafs and stuff and it would taste a lot better. Um, this tastes like it has a really good ketchup on it. The meatloaf is really good. Tender, moist, fall apart. Well, not fall apart, but it's, it's not dense like a brick of ground beef either. It's it's good. Um, flavor wise, flavor wise, honestly, everything's good flavor wise. Um, it's just the texture of the peas and the and the mashed potatoes is just really dried up and clumpy. Um, but the texture of the meatloaf is really really nice. Flavor wise, the meatloaf of course is the star. The potatoes taste okay, and the peas really they're so dried up you really can't even taste them. So even when I'm eating them with the mashed potatoes. I don't really taste them. I mean, you get a little bit of that green pea flavor, but um, it's mostly the mashed potato. Yeah, by far the star of this show is the uh, is the meatloaf. I mean, look how dry that is. That, that's, I mean, it's just like, I don't know. It's just, I don't, they made a mistake with that. Um, I'm gonna give this meal, I hate to say it, just because the potatoes and the peas it's a three and a half for me. Uh, the only thing that gives it the half over the three is the meatloaf is really, really good. So just avoid the mashed potatoes and peas completely and just eat the meatloaf and I think you'll be happy. Um, and take it out a little bit earlier. So if you know your microwave cooks really uh, fast or really you know, dries things out quickly, then go to two minutes. Or maybe even try 145 and then see how it's like and it might be fine. So anyway, I'm gonna give it a three and a half. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.